everybody my name is analytical plum and welcome back to my channel today's video as you can see is a very very different setup and that is because we are going to be doing a very very different video so today's video as you saw is my first q and a video I just thought about doing this so you can get to know me a little bit more as a creator. My demand for today's video is that if you're watching this, I would love if you were to comment a fact about yourself so that we know each other better. Before I begin answering questions, I just want to say a big thank you to everyone who's left a comment and if I don't respond to your comment, depending on time, I don't want to rabbit on and annoy you too much, but if we run out of time then perhaps I will do a second Q&A video we'll see how the first one goes it could be something for the future but before I answer your questions I would love if you would consider subscribing I do post twice a week but don't hold me to that and if you do love my videos I would love if you would leave a like it does help me out a ton and without further ado let's get into answering some questions so the first question I received was how old are you I am actually 23 freshly 23 it was my birthday day towards the beginning of July so yay for that not much more I could say about that <laughs> if you are wondering I am a cancer not literally that's my astrological thing what is your favorite episode from any show you have reacted to and why and I had to think really really hard about this one because I have reacted to so many shows and everything all over this past year actually I didn't even realize till the other day but my channel turned one years old yeah there's so much variety I've done and I've loved pretty much everything I've done so it was very hard to decide for this one but I ended up settling on the Acolyte episode 5 I believe it is that is the one where I'm not gonna spoil it in case you're interested but a lot of um, unexpected things happened I certainly weren't expecting it it really shook me to the depth of my core so my reaction for that was just it was, it was just very unexpected I think that's what threw me and I think that's what made my video quite well in the end I mean it performed pretty well but yeah I just love it when like creators and programs or whatever are just ballsy enough to just kill off people <laughs> without any warning I'll applaud them for that I have to give a big shout out to I Rain Foster, sorry if I mispronounced your name, but they left me so many questions to answer. So I'll see how many I'll get through. I'll try and answer every single one. But they left me quite a few Star Warsy questions and then quite a few like just ordinary questions. So let's see how many I can tick off. Which Star Wars film would you say is your favourite and why? And this one is just has always been my answer, and it is Revenge of the Sith. It's not really shocking to be honest but I don't know if you could tell if you watch my Acolyte series but I love a good fight scene especially a lightsaber scene. Acolyte is definitely up there with the fights I think probably even surpasses Revenge of the Sith. I loved it and I just think I don't know the atmosphere and fighting and you know watching Anakin become Vader it's just so iconic seeing Euron as Obi-Wan it's just it's I don't know it's just always my favorite and I suppose it's one of the ones I actually remember because I was alive for that movie so I grew up with that movie nostalgia probably plays a big part on that who is your favorite Star Wars character and why this one all day would never change and my favorite character is Grievous if you ask me why as you have I can't tell you why I just do it just is it's just true love <laughs> it's a match no, but if I actually think about it, it's because I just find him so cool and then it's his arms and I don't know. When you look at Grievous, it's just someone you look at and you're like, how are you just so cool? <laughs> but then also with some of the games I've played, like Battlefront and stuff, so, is he big in Lego? Yeah, he has. He just has the coolest moves and his fighting ability is just amazing. And I don't know how else to describe him without repeating myself, but I just love it. <laughs> which Star Wars animated and live action series has been your favourite so far and why? So for animated, I'd probably go for... Mm, 
I don't know. I'm torn between some of the tales, you know, like Tales of the Jedi, Tales of the Empire. I also really did like Visions. But I think the one that I'm definitely going with has to be The Clone Wars. It's a staple. There's so many episodes, so I never feel unfulfilled. And there's so many arcs that are genuinely some of the best writing that I've seen ever. I'm going to throw in this extra little tidbit for you just because I'm spilling my guts apparently. But I, uh, I do like Rebels, but I don't like Ezra, so that's why Rebels isn't up there. Would you rather survive five minutes in a room with Darth Vader or Darth Maul? Probably Darth Maul. I don't have a reasonable explanation for that, probably apart from the fact that I think I can tend to be quite annoying, so Vader will probably just strangle me and I'll probably snap my neck straight up, and that's the end of that. But I think, right, I think I'll be able to get on more side, or get him to trust me, or I don't know, I feel like you get more chances with more. Yeah, I just feel like vader would just straight up kill me so i have more chance of happiness with more personally <laughs> which star wars planet is your favorite and why visually naboo of course i'm a nature girl at heart so visually absolutely stunning in a jokey way croissant just because i always call it croissant and i find that absolutely funny even though it's not funny so if you're in a battle against Maul, Vader, Palpatine and Grievous, what four characters would you have on your team to defeat them? Oh dear. <laughs> so who can go against Maul? Maul, Ahsoka. Ahsoka's on my team. Vader. Luke. There you go. Palpatine. A water bottle because he doesn't look like he wants to ever stay hydrated. <laughs> no, a character. What would who would go against Palpatine? Oh duh, I'm an idiot. Yoda. There you go. Grievous. Can I put myself on? I'd happily get slaughtered by Grievous. <laughs> right, who would I have against Grievous? You know what? Plo Koon. Plo Koon would be great. Would you ever consider doing a Patreon slash would you ever open up a P.O. box? I've had quite a few questions about a P.O. box and I've looked into it, but it's bloody expensive. So we that may be a future investment because i was so sad because somebody commented they'll send me australian pins because i expressed my love for pins from heartbreak high series when i reacted to that and i was so distraught because i was like i would love to have australian pins that sounds amazing but yeah that will probably be a future thing because that's that's a bit expensive i don't have that money for the moment you never know and for a patreon i haven't actually looked into that but i have set up members for my channel i haven't announced it i don't know why i'm just a bit scared <laughs> but i think i've only created one tier i'll add the information around me because i can't remember i did it ages ago and with that you get i think it's you get a shout out and you get a plum icon next to your name so people know that you're special <laughs> Yeah, as I said, everything will be around my face, or you can just go have a little look yourself. Is there a film or a show you wish you could erase your memory to watch again for the first time? <sighs> See, I think... Wait, hang on a sec. I just realised I didn't finish answering the which Star Wars animated and live action series is your favourite. So, live action series, Ahsoka, because it's amazing and I love Ahsoka. So... <laughs> A film or a show I want to watch again with an erased memory. I absolutely love quite a few movies. One movie I think is absolutely underrated is Emperor's New Groove. That's one of my top favourite movies. But then also I am in love with Tangled. That could be up there. I love Toothless. How to Train Your Dragon. That whole series. Amazing. So any of those three. What are your top five favourite films or shows? <sighs> See, I write it down in my phone for this question so I can always be prepared because you never know when you get asked this. But the problem is, I'm filming with my phone so I can't even look. I'm going to have to do this at the top of my head. Okay, so Emperor's New Groove, Hangled, Has Strange Dragon. So that's already been answered. I absolutely love Peaky Blinders. What else? 
I'm gonna go with a show and it's split between Adventure Time or Attack on Titan but I still have to finish on Attack on Titan so I'll say Adventure Time as a placeholder but perhaps Attack on Titan just because I haven't finished it. If you had the chance to travel anywhere in the world where would you go? Again I have so many places I want to go. The thing is right I'm absolutely terrified to go somewhere where it's just not familiar because I'm just I'm terrified of that but if I am not a wimp, I'd want to see the Aurora Borealis. So, you know, multiple places you can go for that. So any one of them I'm fine with. And this is going to sound a bit silly maybe, but I just really want to go to America. But not for America necessarily, but more for Disney. And what's the Homer place? I think it's Universal's and like Galaxy's Edge. I really want to go to Galaxy's Edge. And I keep seeing people showing off these big massive pink donuts for the simpsons place and i just really want to eat it i'm just getting so hungry that's why i want to go there but i think yeah those will be my places i want to go what is your favorite ice cream flavor so I'm not actually really an ice cream girl, but there are two that I do like to go to when I want, you know, a bit of coolness. When it's bloody hot like now. So my number one, if they have this option, is Oreo ice cream. Absolutely love that. And I always try, if I can, to get that option. And the second one is either like cookie dough or cookie related ice cream or uh what was it smarties ice cream you know the mcflurries you can get at mcdonald's that so basically vanilla that's the underlying ice cream in all of this what is your favorite song slash who is your favorite artist favorite song excel by sabrina carpenter favorite artist sabrina carpenter i grew up listening to sabrina because i was obsessed with her in girl meets world so i knew of her this whole time and i'm a proud stan of her <laughs> even before she popped off which has actually got me quite annoyed because i've always wanted to see her but now everybody else knows of her how the hell am i gonna get tickets <laughs> no one of my favorite ever songs is actually a cover and i listened to it so much growing up and it's her covering Radioactive by Imagine Dragons. Love it. Yeah, I absolutely adore her. Last year, actually, for Christmas, we had that music wrap up and I was in the 0.01% of Serena Carpenter, like listener, if that makes sense. <laughs> Borderline stalkerish, essentially. So this is going to be my last question for today's video. And that is, what is your favorite song from a movie or television series? And I think I'm gonna have to go with i think it might have to be one from tangled maybe i'm probably gonna edit this back think of something else and be like oh should have said that but i'm gonna go with tangled and any song from tangled i absolutely love tangled <laughs> and there you go that was me answering some questions i hope you got to know me a little more and don't forget to leave below a fact about yourself so i can get to know you all as well thank you again for all of your questions i really hope that you enjoyed this video let me know if you enjoyed it and i'll see all of you in my next video